Hi there, Keith here and welcome to my view from the 40. Tonight the Ottawa Red Blacks host the Montreal Alouettes in their third and final meeting this season. The Red Blacks coming in with a 2-13 record are going to be facing the Montreal Alouettes who are currently first place in the East and want to hold on to that with three games remaining in the season. It's been a difficult year to say the least for our Red Blacks and they come into this game on the heels of a loss to the Hamilton Tiger Cats that I'm still trying to understand. Two separate occasions late in the Hamilton game, Ottawa had third and short situations, and Coach Campbell decided instead of gambling on those third and short situations, to punt. Now sitting here in my kitchen, it's very easy to criticize a man who coaches on the sidelines with thousands of screaming fans at him, and uh, to say, hey, you should have done this, you should have done that. I think to myself in hockey, when you're down by one and it's like a minute left, you pull the goalie. I don't understand why we didn't do the equivalent in terms of going for it on third. But again, he's got the job, I don't. But the job is still his, and I think part of that is because he is coaching an expansion team and you've got to give him a bit of rope. I would have liked to have seen more gumption last week, but let's stop living in the past and look, to, look towards tonight. Tonight the Red Blacks are pretty much in a position where they're just trying to save face, play out the year with some dignity, and for some players, secure a spot on next year's roster. For the Alouettes, they're basically looking over their shoulders as the Hamilton Tiger Cats and Toronto Argonauts are breathing down their necks. And they want to make sure that they stay first in the East. This should be a very interesting game. I think Ottawa might be uh, extra motivated to do well this week, but we'll have to wait and see. Of course, my head says Montreal, but my heart says Ottawa. Actually, right now, part of my heart is breaking for what's happened here in the city. It seems a little silly to be standing in front of you or sitting in front of you talking about football, but I kind of felt that if I didn't come out and do this blog, it would be weird because I've been doing it for the last few weeks. At the end of the day, tomorrow's game doesn't matter. With all due respect to the Alouettes and the Red Blacks, I think in light of this week's circumstances, they tend to agree with me. It's a game. It doesn't matter in the grand, in the grand scheme of things. What does matter is that we lost a very brave soldier in a meaningless act of violence. And as I sit here, I still try to wrap my head around it and understand why it happened. I'm looking forward to tomorrow's game probably more so than any other game that I've gone to this past year, not because I get to see the Red Blacks play or not because it's a pivotal game in the season, but because I not only get to stand beside Ottawa fans and Montreal fans, but I get to stand beside thousands of Canadians. And right now, that's what I need. I need things to go back to normal I need to feel some semblance of normal, and I need to be around fellow Canadians. The part of the game that I'm probably looking forward to most is the National Anthem, as I feel I'll be singing, singing it a little louder tomorrow night, or tonight, sorry. My heart goes out to, uh, my, my heart goes out to Corporal Cirillo and his family, and as I applaud his brave bravery, I weep for his family. I weep for his daughter, and, and I weep for all those who were close to him over the senseless tragedy. Tomorrow night, a game will be played. A game that probably, in the grand scheme of things, doesn't mean very much. But what will mean something is it'll be the largest crowd that has gotten together in Ottawa since this absolutely senseless event. I pray for those who are close to, to, to Corporal Cirillo, and... In regards to him, I know there's a special place in heaven for him. Probably not the normal blog that you're used to, but again, wouldn't have seemed right to come out and not say anything. And just in case somebody's getting ready to accuse me of being really sappy, to Coach Campbell I say, tomorrow night if you have an opportunity to go third and long, or to go on third down, just go for it. As always, you can check me out on Twitter, CFL underscore fan, Facebook.com slash Witty Whittier, and Witty Whittier.com. Thanks so much for checking out this blog, and that's my view from the 40.